Hi boys and girls, Miss Jill is back and today we are going to make a very good snack. Um, this is one that I made a lot of times growing up for my kids and I enjoyed it. And some of you all have may, may have had this before, your parents have made it for you. Um, I do know when many, many years ago when I went to school, I went to Benham Elementary and they served this a lot of times for lunch. And um, the recipe that I'm using calls it Crescent Hot Dogs, I think. Let's look and double check what it's called. Crescent Dogs, I'm sorry. But what I call it, and many of you will be familiar with, is Pigs in the Blanket. So I had all these um, ingredients on hand. I had a roll of um, eight crescent rolls, and I just had the butter flaking, you can use the original, whatever kind, eight wieners, and I'm going to make four with cheese and four with that, but I've already done this, but we're going to do it anyway. Before we start any cooking video or any cooking, we are first going to get um, guardian uh, permission and make sure parents with us and we are going to wash our hands. Like I said, I've already done it, but just so you guys can see, we are going to wash our hands. Guys, it's so important hand washing um, before you do anything, before and even after, because when you handle food, you need to get all the germs off of your hands too. So it's just important to wash and clean up after as it is before. So First, what we're going to do, and I've already started it so we didn't have to sit here and wait, we're going to preheat our oven to 375 degrees. So it's already started, so hopefully by the time we start rolling up our pigs in the blanket, it will be ready. Now, for the ones with cheese, what we're going to do, we're going to take two slices of cheese, and we're just going to cut the cheese. Make four slices of this cheese. I like mine plain and I dip mine in. I mix ketchup and mustard and I know that's a weird combo, but I mix ketchup and mustard and I dip my pig in the blanket in ketchup and mustard without cheese. I don't, have, I don't like cheese in mine. So on each one that we put cheese, we're gonna just make a slit in our hot dog and we're gonna stuff the cheese down in, so we're just gonna do this one first, and once we get the uh, cheese stuff done in there, actually, well, we're gonna make them cheesy. So, just very simple, because it's gonna roll up, and even if it's sticking out, then all that cheese is gonna be inside your crescent roll, so it's gonna be really, really good. So like I said, we're gonna do four with cheese, and four without. And you don't have to put cheese in yours if you are not big cheese fans. I like cheese, but I don't eat cheese in my pigs in the blanket. So, just a matter of preference, I guess. I don't know, I may try one today. But, normally I just wrap my hot dogs in the crescent roll let it bake, and like I said, I mix. You can eat it by itself. Um, you can dip them in mustard. You can dip them in ketchup. I combine ketchup and mustard for mine. Okay, those four have the cheese. So we're gonna open our crescent rolls, and we're gonna start with the first I already have my bacon sheet over here, as you can see. So what I'm gonna do is start rolling them up and I'm gonna start with the ones with the cheese in them. Now remember, if you don't like cheese, but you mix them up, you need to know which ones have cheese and which do not. So, and you can also, you all have probably made the minis. You can do um, the cocktail wieners, you can kind of, and I always, since I'm using a, the full um, hot dog, I just kind of pat it out, and then you just roll your crescent roll around your hot dog. 
like that. So we're going to put the four with the cheese on the left side. And guys, this is a fun, just a quick snack. Like a, you can um, do it for lunch. You can do it for an evening snack. Um, whenever you want. If you have a sleepover, which I don't think we're doing many sleepovers right now due to the nasty COVID virus, but once everything is, once you are um, back having sleepovers and parties like that, this is wonderful. You could do it um, for parties, anything. This is just a really good snack. Okay, so we got the four on the left side. And then our other four, we are just doing with plain, um, we're not doing cheese on them. We're just doing plain pigs in the blanket. And like I said, you can um, do mini ones, cut your crescent rolls smaller and roll up the um, cocktail wieners. said very very simple I had the crescent rolls and the wieners already on hand very inexpensive it makes eight um, and you will get full on this you will have if you're at home by yourself if you don't have any siblings or cousins that are at your house you have eight whole pigs in the blanket that you can eat so And there you have it. All of my pigs in the blanket are ready. And I'm gonna put them in the oven. And the recipe calls 13 to 15 minutes. So I'm gonna start at 13. And when the my timer goes off for 13 minutes, I'm gonna see where they're at, if they are ready to come out, um, or if I want them to brown a little bit more. Some people like their things, uh, their crescent rolls a little bit more crispy. It's just up to you. So I will be back with you in just a few minutes. And we'll All right, guys, there you have it. After 13 minutes, mine are brown enough for me. My cheese is melted, and we're going to enjoy some lunch in my house. I hope you guys enjoy this. Bye.